Okay, so getting started. Uh, don't, don't paint an eye first. You'll just have a painting of an eye. I want you to start in the middle of the forehead, like right here. And that's in shadow. What that does is it puts you in immediately into a color situation. And when I look, it's kind of a brown with a little bit of orange in it. So I'm just going to knock that in there. And I think it's even, I think it's even darker. So I just make my adjustment. I just put a little bit of brown into it. That's too brown. <laughs> okay, so it's a matter of chasing things around. Okay, I'm going to put that, that's something like that. Then this comes around the side like this. I see my ear here. There's a pretty strong shadow. I'm looking for similar colors. Okay, so okay, so let me put a light in. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to come down right down the ridge of my nose, which catches light, and up on the top of my forehead, which is going to be here. And then I'm also going to find my darkest dark, which is also probably going to be like uh, uh, where, where, my, where my eyes are. It's the deepest part of the skull. So the shape of an eye, that's an eyelid. So there we go, and there we go. This one's catching light, but then there's a shadow under the nose. So you don't have to worry that much about painting the nose. It's the shadow that falls underneath it. That's really what you're looking for. So there's a start. What I see is this eye lightens up a little bit. It's going to go up a little bit more like this. I might put in just a dot. It's like a dark blue for the eye, which is going to go just like right here. So already, that's already starting to establish where things are. And then it's a matter of like a jigsaw puzzle of filling the rest of it in. So maybe I put, you know, this blue that I see on this shirt which is kind of a weak blue, but, uh, you know, it's a start, goes like this. And what happens is that this is so blue that it makes my face kind of orange. So that even in my beard, I begin to see, like, some purples. And uh, let me see which one of these is purple. I think this right here. No, actually, that is a black. Let me see what this is. No. It's hard for me to tell the difference between... But that gets covered easy, and I'll just show you how you cover mistakes. Just go over the top of it. Okay? And that can dry, and I'll come back to it. Uh, maybe the outside of my face. Uh, young women, when you're painting, your, if your hair is long, where the hair butts up against the side of the neck, put it right up against it. A lot of people stop short with, with uh, what they do with that. Uh, I see a little bit of red, like right there. There's definitely some red in my lip, like right here. It's really quite dark. We're in shadow. So this is starting to fill in. And, uh, you know, this grays that you see, you just put them in. Anything that's wrong, you can, you can change. The important thing is to begin to start and just find your way in. And it's kind of similar to what I see there. It's the same pose. Uh, the white of the mustache comes down over here, which is really a gray. And it's particularly gray on this side. Like this. But then it goes white on the other side. So all you're doing is painting light. You know, the white of my hair, like right up here, goes into a gray there. And then, in the middle part of this face, it really seems to come up to some sort of an orange, like right here. And I think that's a little bit high key, but I easily fix that by just putting a little bit of brown into it. And you go back and you think about what we did the first exercises in terms of like mixing uh, skin color. That, uh, you know, if your skin is brown, you may see like beige highlights. And, you know, you can work with three or four tones. Highlight, uh, which would be beige. Uh, brown color, the color of your skin. And then shadow, which might be uh, 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 purple, purple purple uh, brown something like that you just uh, you know you just find your way through it and you keep making adjustments you know this is more light uh, it doesn't have to be right the first time you just keep working around let your eye jump around because that keeps you seeing the whole thing don't get caught in one thing you know just kind of see how you see these things and I see that you know up at the top of my head there's really a big flash of light like right up there and it's a little bit more light on this side and actually I think that this eye is further up so that's easily fixed 
and I'm going to stop right after I get this. I think that the eye is more up here. So what if there's like two eyes on there? Doesn't matter. That's going to get covered over with paint. That's better. And it relates better to like where my ear is. That's, that's way better. So there's an eye there. So what? We'll just cover it over later. This eye goes, this eye actually goes more blue. And then this eye goes dark. So, you know, this is, this is establishing what's going on here, and I'm just going to correct this by just putting a mark over the top of that. And that once it's dry, it'll go in a lot better. You'll see a strong dark like right in there, and to me, it almost becomes kind of green like right in there. So that's a good place to stop. I'll show you the finished painting. It's just going to fill in like a puzzle. That's it.